welcome back to my channel. Today I am showing you guys how I touch up my dark hair. I will zoom in and see if you guys can tell, but I have a ton of blonde and like light reds coming through. Even my ends are getting super light. And since we're going to Disneyland, I wanted to show you guys what I'm gonna do to touch up my hair. If you guys can see like this dimension, these light streaks, it is a lot more in person. And even the ends, like let's see, are getting there, you can start to see it. Like they're getting a lot lighter, just happening. So, I <laughs> got box dye. I know a lot of people are gonna say, no, don't do that, don't use that. When I dyed my hair originally, I used a line from Sally Beauty, so it was a little bit like more professional than the box dye. Um, but it went really really red and that's because I mixed a chocolate and a neutral and the chocolate stuck to my hair and really went red instead of just the neutral going dark brown. So this is just the Garnier Nutrice Level 3 Darkest Brown Sweet Cola. It has a ton of different oils in it which is what my hair needs. And as much as I love the brand from Sally's, I've also used this brand for almost all of my hair dyes. And I love it, it always works great. And I know a lot of people are gonna say, it's gonna be so hard to get out, like box dye is so bad. And I get that, I totally understand that. I love hair, I love learning about hair, everything about hair is like intriguing to me, but this is what I like to use to touch up for my color. That is specifically why I use this, is the color, the shade, the formula of this comes out great on my hair, and that's why I'm gonna use this. Now with that out of the way, I'm not a hairstylist, I'm not a hair professional in any way, hair is my passion, I love it, but I've not gone to cosmetology school, this is all just self-taught stuff, so, and I'm going to open this up and make it. I'm sure you guys have seen this a hundred million times done before, you look at the instructions, they have the gloves, you pour B into A, you shake it up, D is conditioner, this is the oil that you add into it, super self-explanatory. Great product, love this line. In my personal opinion, I'd rather it go darker and let it fade than to go lighter and have to touch it up and put chemicals on your hair again. So, again, that's just my personal preference, but for touch-ups, one bottle is enough for me. So I'm gonna start at the top to give this the most time to get saturated, because that's where it needs it the most and where it's shown the most, and then I'm gonna drag it down the ends. So. So now I'm literally just going to take this with my hands and just start applying it to the top where it needs it. While I am dyeing my hair, I use micellar water and some cotton rounds to make sure I get all the dye off my face because when I very first did it, it was not pretty. Saturated. The bottle is all gone. So I'm gonna put my hair up. I know I don't have gloves on. Don't hate me. Okay. Just doing a really loose bun, and then I'm taking a ton of my pads and some of my mice, some of my micellar water. You can get the like color remover from Sally's, um, just like the after color wipes. I find this is the best way. I have it at my house all the time, and it's super cheap. So I just use my pad to clean off my body so I don't have stains everywhere. All right, so it's 
says leave on 25 to 30 minutes and I am gonna do 30 just because I want it to be dark. So it's 3.15 right now and I will catch up with you guys at 3.45 to wash it out and show you what it looks like. Okay, now I'm in the bathroom and I am gonna wash up my hair and it literally looks black, which is so exciting to me because I know it's not gonna turn out black, but it is gonna turn out dark. So I'm gonna rinse it out and instead of using the conditioner that they supplied, I always do a hair treatment mask because it keeps my hair healthier and I just find that theirs doesn't coat my hair enough and just isn't enough. So I'm using this, mer uh, pfft, the Macadamia Deep Repair Mask. I got it for like a dollar at Sally's. I literally stock up on them and just have like 30 different masks in my drawer. And that's what I use once a week and then especially when I dye my hair. So I'm in a shower, rinse it out, do a tiny bit of shampoo to get it off my scalp and then use this and let this sit for probably like 15, 20 minutes. Just to my hair already. And then I will get completely ready and show you guys the finished product. Okay, I had to turn my studio lights on so my face looks a little pale, but this is the finished hair. It's a lot darker than my hair was before, which is exactly what I wanted. Every time I touch up from here on out, it will be with this color because the way that it turned out right now is absolutely perfect. Everything I could have wanted. Oh my gosh, I'm so happy. Look how good it is. It feels very healthy and very soft, but as with dyeing any hair, you're definitely gonna have to take care of it. So I will be doing coconut oil, more macadamia nut treatments and all of that. But I hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys like this finished product or seeing any of my hair dye videos, please give this video a thumbs up video. Please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe. It's free, so make sure to do it. Leave me any video requests down below so I can film what you guys wanna see, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.